All right, it's hammer time, baby. This is a deck list coming to us from Alejo in the chat, and we are playing some Pioneer Colossus Hammer. Now, we've spent a little bit of time on this in the past, where we've tried various builds that were mono-white, that were more cat-focused, building around Kemba. We've tried Boros builds that were more warrior-focused with Resolute Strike. Now we're trying an Azorius approach. <clears throat> There's not a ton of blue cards here, but there are some notable ones. So first of all, you have a decent number of legends with Skrelv, Kemba, Oswald, Fiddlebender, and Emery, which all turn on Mox Hammer. Oswald allows you to sacrifice an artifact and search for a hammer, because you can sacrifice a Mox or an Ornithopter, search for a hammer. That's pretty powerful when you have Sigardis Aid or Kemba, because you can go, you know, search for hammer, then play Kemba, equip to Kemba, do some stuff that way. Um, this deck also has kind of a Machiko's Reign of Truth backup plan, sort of, um, where if you're not hammering people, you're drawing just uh, an abundance of artifacts, and you're kind of powering up a fast Machikos with Ornithopter and Skrelv to punch through that way, which is kind of cool. Um, and then Oswald can also find you some other value targets, like a Lion Sash, a Shadow Spear, a Reality Chip... And then a couple of Emery's, so hopefully, you know, you mill, maybe you mill a hammer with Emery, and then you can kind of go off with Sigarda's aid that way. So a lot of cool synergies going on here. Uh, we get Sneak and Inventor's Fair into the mana base, along with some Darksteel Citadels to power up the Emery's. And yeah, Sideboard has most of the stuff you would expect. Portable Holes for the aggressive matchups, Rebuke for Control, Antiquities War for Rakdos, and Needle for Green and Grease Fang. So this deck looks sweet. <clears throat> Four mana Flip Bowls for the Grixis deck? Maybe. Swooping lookout. Oh my god. <coughs> yeah, Fiddlebender is basically just Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> if I had White Man, I'd keep, but. Alright, we'll keep this, put back second aid. Not the best hand in the world, but. Has Gigantha too? Yeah, you can cast Gigantha off of uh, Sprickleaf Drum. Sees we can't win. What do you think they're gonna take? Yeah, that makes sense. Also awkward that I binned another copy. Fix the thoughts he's bug, you didn't know that. Sign in blood gaming. I have to save the Kemba? Probably should. The way that I hold. <clears throat> Graveyard Trespasser. That one's pretty good against Emery. Alright, I got an Oswald. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're casting that. Surely they won't have a removal spell for it, right? I think Kethis would be good in Pioneer. I think Kethis would be absurd in Pioneer. Y'all are talking about, like, why is Kethis banned? Kethis is banned because it's kind of an absurd deck. <clears throat> no Oko, no Teferi. I don't think that matters. There, There's just enough Legends now. Oh, I gotta update Stream Decker. I think there are there there would be plenty enough Legends to to enable a really good, Laza or a really good Kethis deck. Yeah, field is banned. I mean, I got a plan. It's not a very good plan, but it's a it's a plan. <laughs> you know, it's better than not having a plan, right? All right, make a twelve twelve. Your turn. I showed you my twelve twelve. Please respond. Surely they won't have another fatal push, right? Okay, I can beat a Soren. All right, give me a Shadow Spear. Give me a Shadow Spear. Then I can win this game. How about an Ornithopter? It's basically a Shadow Spear. True know who I am. Mm, I guess the Graveyard's not that relevant when we have uh, the Trespassers. Well, let's pick up Jeff. Question is, am I attacking... Playing land, holding up activate good versus removal. Holding up... Oh, holding up the Kemba. You think that was better than playing Emery? Maybe. Yeah, maybe that was better than playing Emery. I think I kind of have to attack. Yeah, maybe that was better than, than playing the Emery there, just holding up the cat activation. Although, if they just, like... Uh, let's assume for the sake of argument that they draw a Fatal Push and they just pass, because they're not going to main phase the Fatal Push. If I activate end step, they just respond in Fatal Push, and then I just have a random ass 2-2, right? So does it really beat removal unless I don't activate the Kemba? Which I guess in that case maybe it would. He revealed Shieldred. 
How do you cast Giganta? Spring Leaf Drum. Spring Leaf Drum. It's maybe ambitious, but... You can just block with Ornithopter and recast it, right? I do have a Shield Red. <clears throat> that one might be a little tough to beat. Not the card I was looking for. All right, now we might want to just hold up the Kemba activation. Yeah, now we're going to hold up Kemba activation. Uh, go. Mox to cast Gigantha. How does Mox cast Gigantha? It only makes blue or white mana. Yeah, Pure Mountain's going to be sick this Saturday. I know you're trolling me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, I am very excited, even though you may not be. Uh, so I guess we sack the Fopter. Go to nine. <clears throat> yeah, it's not Box Opal. What are we doing? If they attack with Shieldred, I can make a 2 2. And then trade the 2 2 for Shieldred. Uh, I guess I'll put the hammer on the cat token. And she goes reign of truth. It's not really getting me anywhere, is it? It's 17. All right, play ornithopter. I guess what I could have done is played mox hammer, played hammer, activated Kemba, and made another big cat token. What artifact in play? Excuse me, two. Excuse you. I guess if I was going to do it this way, I should have just played the hammer first. Yeah, even though I'm not attacking this turn, I should have just played the hammer first. Because I want to put the hammer in play for the Kemba next turn. The fact that I'm just getting stonewalled here is pretty embarrassing. <clears throat> just getting stonewalled. Uh... Okay. I mean, I'll block with my 1313. I have another Invoke Despair. Just like, sec this, sec this. Oh, they just killed me with Sign and Blood. Okay, that works. <laughs> Dead. They just killed me with Sign and Blood. Cool. Everyone Pike said you don't directly lose to Thoughtseize. I think that was Todd Burr. Yeah, once they cast Thoughtseize, I lost. Tomper did say that. Urza Saga, tell me more. What is this What is this card called Urza Saga? Sounds like a kind of a medium card, to, if you ask me. I kind of want to cut the Emery's because they have Trespasser. I kind of want to just not use the Graveyard against the four Trespasser deck. Don't know if that's right, but I could like shave an Amber. Yeah, it's fine. Is it an actual land? I mean, I think it has, I think the, the type on the card says land. I could be wrong, but... I guess I can sacrifice my Darksteel Citadel to get a hammer. That's a mega that's mega based. Could have killed turn two with the cacophony scamp. I could have. But I'm not playing those cards. Similar to the modern version, more tutors would be helpful. Like two fighter class are up in the armory. Yeah, well we don't want to splash that third color, so it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be fighter class. You could maybe play open the armory. It was simply just not a fatal bush. Alright, they didn't have fatal bush. You know what the shitty part about this is? You can only activate as a sorcery. No. I mean, if I can find a creature. Just saying. Or just resolve the Antiquities War next turn. <clears throat> Justin was playing Fiddlebender and Vintage the other day. Fiddlebender and Vintage, huh? I mean, it's a plan. I it's it's a plan, all right. I hope I draw Spring Leaf Drum so I can cast Gigantha. Oh, I've got my problems. We did find a creature that can pick up a hammer. I don't know about you, but it seems like this, this hammer looks a little bit too big for this dinky Ornithopter. Like, how on earth does this thing that's made out of, like, paper mache hold a hammer that's 5,000 pounds? Can anybody explain that? How does that, that... That's a flavor fail. Like, it's just not possible. With the aid of Sagarda. <laughs> Actually, casting that now is horrible. Why did I do that? <laughs> they can just trade. What am I doing? 
Yeah, why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I guess we're just casting Giganta now. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright, I'll just cast Giganta. I'll tap by 10-12 to cast Giganta. I wanted to do the thing. To be fair, had I drawn Giganta and not cast the hammer, I probably would have just cast Giganta anyways, but... I don't give a shit about that. They're attacking? Oh, they did your fatal push? <clears throat> My brother in Christ. Alright, you win. <laughs> My brother in Christ. Good game. Good game. I think Thoughtseize specifically, because Thoughtseize is such a huge fixture of the format, it's really hard to do... to, like, play decks that require... A bunch of moving parts. It's just so easy to break that up with Thoughts East Fatal Bush. <clears throat> we need Urza Saga and Pioneer. We definitely do not need Urza Saga and Pioneer. That is that is the last thing that we need in Pioneer, let me tell you that. Hey, this hand's not bad. All things considered, this hand's not embarrassing. Oh, blue white snore. Uh we're probably dead. Probably did. But the MH Goblin's Pioneer. I would be a big fan of... Um, what's the Flash one? Munitions Expert? I'd be a big fan of that card in Pioneer. Give me Lingering Souls. Can we have Lingering Souls in Pioneer? I could do some stuff with that. I can work with that. Tank, tank, tank. Kill your creature. Okay. Oh. I don't know, man. Every time I play against Blue Eye Control, I'm just I just get so fucking bored. <laughs> like how is anybody supposed to focus against playing about playing against Blue Eye Control? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Whatever. We call that a based concession. Call that I I, I have too much. I want to val I value my sanity concession because I will lose my mind if I keep playing that game. I'm just cutting cards at random. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to cut, so I'm just cutting cards at random. Sword is card advantage. It just has no protection. Oh, I guess the sash is kind of bad, huh? Keep in an Oswald. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, the my deck looks sweet. My opponent's deck is boring as shit, though. So, like, what do you want me to do, you know? Like, I'm not just going to sit there and put you guys all through that. I value my sanity and your sanity. I don't know why I value Twitch chat's sanity, but I do. I'm, gonna, I'm a nice guy like that. I guess? <clears throat> well, whatever's left cool down, you know? I'm, I'm protecting whatever is left. I'm just going to put back Kemba with this hand, I think. I don't even know if that's right. What's more miserable to play against Blue White or Waste Knot? I mean, Blue White, not close. The thing about Waste Knot is, like, once you get Hellbent, their deck doesn't do anything. Right? <laughs> you gotta feed the squirrels. Yeah, I guess Sanitarium and stuff. <laughs> just try Machikos with no, great, no artifacts. Come on, man. Oh my god. Alright, we might have cooked a little too much with this deck of late, Joe. A little, maybe a little too much cooking. Yeah, alright, I can't pay. Your turn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dude, I want to scoop so bad. <laughs> you just put me out of my fucking misery. Go. <laughs> I've I've already fallen asleep three times this match. Just gonna hold up counterspell. <clears throat> the issue with sacking Skrelf to get a two mana card. Actually, what two mana artifacts can I even get? One plus sacrifice. I guess I can get. No, the chips already countered. I don't think I have any other two mana artifacts, right? If the chips already countered. Uh, yeah, because I cut the sash. Well, that's a problem. <clears throat> Assume the cooldown was talking about blue-white control. I mean, I'm with you. This deck is miserable as shit. It's also just horrible for content. 
Like, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> it's the most boring games to watch. Uh, yeah, I have no basics. Cool. Yeah, the gameplay is riveting. All right, fuck off. You win. <laughs> Cool, dude. Hope that was enjoyable. I hope that was enjoyable for you, opponent. Because it sure wasn't for me and all of my 250 viewers. Sand doesn't do anything, but I have Cigar to Zade. Maybe this is too loose of a keep. Oh, Four Dogs, we were asking, somebody in chat was asking earlier, has anybody ever tried Lazab and Dreadnought in Legacy? And I was, I said, if anybody has tried it, it's probably Four Dogs. We were playing Lazav in the last league. Yeah, our guard went away. I cast Oswald Shitterbender. It's the legal name of the card, by the way. I'll make up the rules. No fatal push? Oh, I guess they're playing Grease Fang. Can tutor for Lion Sash against them. Not this turn, but... Okay, played their third land and then cast Traverse. Well, it's unlikely we get Grease Fang next turn, kind of. So let's play Amber. We might actually get to do the thing, chat. We might actually get to do the thing. Well, if they have, I'm thinking if they have um, Grizzly Salvage, they can. So I guess we go... It's probably better to sack the Citadel, right? And then play Seachrome Coast. We can get Shadow Spear next turn. I think we're going to win this game. They didn't have Salvage. If they just play Chariot, they're super dead. So we just go sack. We just sack Amber and get Shadow Spear. All right, game's over. Holy shit, we won a game, chat. Let's go. Actually, what a game. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we won a game? <laughs> Say it ain't so. It's Jover. It's Jover. We did it. All right, we won a game. Let's go. <laughs> it only took our opponent not casting a relevant spell. All right, fifth needle cut. Well, that's not true. They cast Thoughtseize, but <clears throat> that was cool. All right, Needle coming in because you can name Parhelion. You want Metallic Rebuke against them, probably? It's Jover. It's all Jover. I need to enable Biden Blast. I'll enable, I'm going to enable Biden Blast as an emote. Thank you. Biden Blast or no? <laughs> Biden Blast is kind of a kind of a based emote. All right, I'll, I'll enable I'll enable Biden Blast. It's probably not going to work right away, but Rebuke. More like a Biden based. I feel like Emery's a little bit too slow in this matchup. Uh, maybe you want to cut the cheap, the cheap, the cheap, and everything else is pretty good. Maybe Michiko's in the draw. Maybe four rebuke is too many. Mm. Shave a Amber, because we're cutting Emery's, I guess? Sure. I mean, I guess cutting an Amber's bad when we're bringing in Rebuke, maybe, but... Make a Biden Blast, but for Counter Spell. Biden Spell. Counter... Count oh, no, Counter Joe. Counter Joe would be a base emote. So this is turn one, Skrelv. Turn two, Drum, Oswald. Turn three, Sack. Drum, get Sash. All right, I'll try this. <clears throat> I think the idea behind Machiko's is that it's like kind of a plan B. If you if your opponent breaks up your hammer draw, that you could Machiko's for beatdowns, but there may not be enough artifacts for Machiko's. I've listened to the I've listened to the album quite a few times. I think I've listened to it like two or three times. It's a really good album doodle. Oh two again. You say that like you're surprised. See, I, I, my, I, my, um, my experience was kind of the opposite. I was a really big fan of Wildfire when I heard it. I think I have to play Oswald here. Because I need to play towards getting the Sash next turn. 
I am up a game, that is true. Yeah, I liked Wildfire a lot when I heard it. Alright, kick by drum. I can still sack Skrelf to get Sash. If they don't kill the Oswald, that is. Um, Gas Skrelf. That just happened? Didn't expect that. Alright, get the Sash. Question is, do we hold up the Sash? I think we do. Start eating the graveyard. It's funny, they actually have no permanents in their graveyard for Sash. But... Yeah, let's hold up Sash for now. If they go land Chariot, then I can just play the Needle next turn. There we go, Live Goes Hard. Is that like... Is that just a live track on the album? I don't think I heard that. I think I only heard the... Like the... The tracks in the album. Or are you just saying like you heard it live? We got, we got a match, chat. We got a match. Hammer. Uh, it's a one lander, but I have Skrelv and Mox Amber. I mean, if they fatal push my Skrelv, this hand kind of sucks shit, but eh, I'm going to high roll it. Let's try it. What's up, Chandler? How you doing? They will simply not have fatal push. I just want to break it down so bad. I'm going to play around Thoughtseize by playing the Amber here, even though I'm giving them the information that I have Amber. If they thought sees me now, I don't really care. But, all right, no fatal push. Let's go. And no elf, huh? All right, all right. We're we're cooking. Let him cook. I saved you, huh? Fuck! I don't have any. God, I don't have any basic lands. God damn it! All right, guess this. I do not have basic lands. Do you think they'll play around me not having a basic? That deck was super sweet. That's good as long as you can dodge mono green. No land, huh? So they're just going to target the Ornithopter. So I'll target one on Thopter and I'll play the other Machikos. Targeting the Skrelv, I think. Oh, right. We can Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, it's not Field of Ruin. I was thinking Field of Ruin. We do have Hallowed Fountain, yeah. I forgot that we can get Halifon out this. I was lamenting because we got Field of Ruin last game. But yeah, they can't feel that we can we can get a Halifon. So they can't play Troll next turn, which is good, because Troll would be a decent ish jump blocker for Skrelf, but they can't play that card. Excuse me? We're a voracious Hydra gaming, huh? That is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. I have to target a creature. Whatever, I'm not attacking anyways, but... <clears throat> mm. I guess I just dump the hand, right? Go Oswald, Hammer Spear. Mm. All right. Go. Shadow Spear up the portrait next turn. It's kind of big. Ain't no way. Don't need that much blue to not have one on two. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Your mana's probably good enough to play one basic planes. Probably not that bad. Wolf, Willow, Haven. I think we should be okay. Okay, not ideal. But we can go... So what can I get off Fiddlebender here? I don't really think I can get much. Get a hammer, reality chip. Yeah, none of that matters. So we can go Sash plus equip hammer attack for eight. And one, two, they have five devotion. I guess I get the Fiddlebender in there too, right? If they double block Fiddlebender, that's fine because they're losing a mana source. No, I meant Shadow Spear, not equip hammer. I meant, I meant Shadow Spear. So I have four mana. I can equip the Shadow Spear here. So equip here. Yeah, I'm going to get in there with both. Portable holes in the sideboard, not in the main deck. It would be a good main deck card to get with, with uh, Fiddlebender, but... Uh, it's both killing the same amount of mana sources, right? Two, three, four. I think it's better to kill the Hydra. Take a short video of Miracle. Yeah, if you want to, Doodle, that's fine. I'd be down. All right, can they survive? I feel like no. So they have to put eight toughness in front of the portrait. Well, if they have storm, they can. Maybe. 
Yeah, I guess that's fair. The elf is technically better because it, it adds more mana. Got Nykthos. All right, they conceded. Cool. Um, yeah, I wonder if we can maybe go a little bit deeper on the Fiddlebender tutor package, like maybe play one portable hole main deck for spots like that that you just want to search for it. I would assume so. I don't know how I want to sideboard, though. Like, I think both hole and rebuke are interesting. I, don't, I can't really bring in both of them, but... I think, like, the blue cards are probably too slow. I would imagine rebuke is better against them, because I can rebuke Karn. Yeah, I probably need the rebukes. Sword is kind of mid against Karn. It's my issue with sword. But I can go, like, up the chain with Fiddlebender to search for sword. Yeah, what do you want to cut, though? You want to cut the Fiddlebenders? Honestly, I think this part of my deck is the best part of my deck in this matchup. I think this is the most likely way that I'm going to kill them quickly. Well, if you want to bring in the sword, you have to keep the Sash, because you can't go up the chain unless you have a two. Yeah, I could, like, shave a drum, maybe. I could have one hole in my deck, two or four. I don't think I want to go super heavy on hole. But maybe it's just better to play sword. This deck one Karn Scion. I think you're probably better off playing Antiquities War. I'm going to do hole in the draw. I think you're better off playing Antiquities War than Karn Scion for, like, that four-mana additional win condition for the grindy matchups. I think that card's just a lot better. That's a lot more. Microwave with a song request. He's a maniac. Maniac. All right, here's Jeff. <clears throat> I mean... I don't have a creature. Eh, we'll find a creature. This blue had affinity pad. What in Pioneer? You mean, like, the Machiko's deck? I haven't seen a lot of people playing in recently. I think a lot of the reason... I mean, I should have played 8 on 1. I don't think it matters, but... I think a lot of the reason that people haven't been playing that deck is because of the uptick in Mono Green. It just Karn just shits on that deck so much. Like in Soul Artifact. I, a lot of people were playing in Soul before the printing of March of Otherworldly Light, and now that the control decks have gone towards March, it's really hard to play in Soul Artifact when March is a card. But maybe you can justify it because there's not a lot of Marches in the format. All right, so we're going to go Kemba into, I guess, just Aid. Why did I do it this way? I could have just done this without having to play the Aid, right? I could have just played Hammer on one and then Kemba on two. And that line's better if they have Voracious Hydra. Yeah, I should have just played this on one. I was think I was trying to play towards the Sigarda's Aid, but... Okay, what are they getting? But then if I draw a second Hammer... It shows Haywire Bite. All right, second hammer. That is not a second hammer. Hmm. Can I afford to kill the Karn and give up 12 damage? I kind of feel like I have to kill the Karn here. Yeah, I think I have to. Could maybe at least like try to make them play around a counter spell, but. Antiquities War with Hive could be maybe a thing. Antiquities War with... Oh, Skrelv's Hive. Interesting. I never thought about that. I have tried quite a few times to make Skrelv's Hive work, and I have not really found a good shell for it. I mean, obviously, the, the biggest issue with Skrelv's Hive is the tokens can't block. I remember once we tried it in, like, a like a Mardu Sacrifice-style deck that had other ways to kind of utilize the sacrificing of the tokens. So you could, like, pair that with... Like Witches Oven and Mayhem Devil and these kinds of things to like sort of benefit you for uh, for having the tokens around. I mean, I'm just going to start making tokens, I guess. It means I can't attack with Kemba this turn. I think that's probably still fine. Yeah. I see the Essica art. That's the, the new mashup, right? It was like Essica and something. Essica and... I can't remember the other part, but... I'm assuming that's the card you're talking about. Yeah, that song's great. Essica and Inga. Inga these nuts. Next. <laughs> I mean, I can't beat it. I'm, I'm, I'm stone cold dead that game. But Doomwake, you were at 18 life. Sure was.
God, this song is so good. I got you. Hold on. Show the rebuke here? No, because if they play the stupid troll, I'm not going to counter it anyways. I'm just going to save it for Karn. Yeah, but I want to play the Kemba, I think. Maybe holding the Kemba was better there in case I draw Hammer? Not sure if that was right. Well, I don't care about that. Wildfire and Pioneer? What do you mean by Wildfire and Pioneer? What do you mean, what do I mean? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd be one minute short. Uh, Combat. I guess we just hold up Rebuke slash make a cat. Could pick up Gigantha, but... <clears throat> Maybe Gigantha's better, because it's so likely they're going to cast Karn this turn. Or just something I want to counter. Uh, that sucks. Three, four, five, five, six, seven. So if I don't counter this, they have seven mana next turn to pay for rebuke. Can I make a token and rebuke this? Two, three, five. No, I can't. All right. Counter it. Counter it. So now if I draw a hammer, I can go hammer... Oh, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> that one works. <laughs> good draw step. So now they die, right? They get a one? Because they get a Besaju. Oh, that song is great. So they do have Besaju. Whatever they... Whatever if they get Karn with no board and no mana. Yeah, I guess that's fair. If they Karn me at this point, it probably doesn't matter. Okay, now I can pick up Gigantha. So, why did they... What? I wonder why they didn't just go to one there and keep the elf. Because now they just don't have any outs, right? I guess they could draw another Basaju. I guess they can Voracious Hydra fight the Thopter and then chump block? Sure. Okay, yeah, I'm with you. Mm, now I can hold up Make a Cat, though, right? Because so now they chump block. Even if they have another Voracious Hydra, that's fine. I can make a cat and then flip this. Looks like they do have another Hydra. They got something. Sure. It's fine. Activate. Cool with the Dropbox link. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Skrelv. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to dump my hand, right? Just no attacks this turn. Gigantha should be good enough next turn. Could play the other drum out, maybe. Don't know if it matters. <laughs> I don't think they have any way out of this now. They can cast Cav and then be dead on board. Cav concede? Ooh. Okay. I mean, even if they storm into... I, there is a chance I die, I guess. Okay. I think that's good enough? Actually, it might be. Because now... Yeah, they kill that, have three blockers. They get a one. Oh, no. Not like this. Chat, not like this. Not like this! Oh my god. What's the consensus in the pure modern metagame? I mean, it's... Like, I would expect a lot of people to bring... I think the, the best decks are probably Shadow and Dredge still. At least, you know, based on the results from the first tournament. Kameshi Bloom. I guess most of those cards are still legal, right? Yeah, but they can go... Chump with Troll. They can go Chump with Troll. Gracious Hydra, Eat Kemba, Chump with Elf. So I trade a Kemba for a Troll and a Mystic, and they got a 1. And then I have Counterspell up. I mean, I don't know. Nothing else to do. Do an attack with Kemba? Why not? I mean, if I only attack with... I guess, what if I only attack with these two? 
Well, no, if I only attack with these two, they can double block because they're both five fives, right? Make more tokens. I can't make tokens. These are all off by, these are all by four mana sources that are shut off by guard. <laughs> I just can't make tokens. I think I'm just sending everything. Can tap Gigantha. Not for... Still short, right? Because I can only use the white from Gigantha. So I have one mana here and then four mana. So it's five to make a token. I mean, this is like not that bad. Depending on what they have. Actually, it is kind of bad. Well, depends on what they get off of this Karn. If they get Leveler, I can counter it. Mm -mm -mm. They got Haywire Might. Well, Haywire Might can't kill any of my creatures, right? But they're not dead, because they can go block, block, gain, gain, th gain two, go to three, take two, go to one. So they're not dead. All right, I will counter that. Dead to removal spell, kind of. I mean, the nice thing about this is they have to lose the Hydra this turn. Oh, that kills them, right? Yeah, because now even if they gain two, they still die. Because they can't kill the portrait with, with Haywire, I might. God, what a, what a sick game. <laughs> Almost lost that game, too. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get a 3-2 prediction going. MF Doomwake stream? Maybe. Uh, Sand's missing a hammer, but, I mean, I have Legend plus Amber. I'm going to keep this. This is this is the this is the hand of all time. Skrelv, Mox Amber, Sigarda's Aid. Wait, why don't we just play Mox Amber in Boros Hammer, right? Like, you, you still have Skrelv and Kemba in Boros Hammer. Speed up. Hammer. Yeah, Nahiri too. I mean... Wait, that's actually a really good draw, right? <laughs> I just get to equip for free. All right, all right. Start playing spells off the top. This is kind of nice. I like this. So equip here. Play land. Uh, go. Definitely not going to offer the trade. Like, I know I have second Skrelv, but I really just want to keep the chip online. I mean, th this hand has been kind of crazy. This this makes me want to play more chips. <clears throat> you said if opponent leads on Hallowed Foundry, he was going to concede the match. Oh, yeah, that was against the blue-white match. No, that was the match after that. That was after we got dumpstered by blue-white. Third Skrelv, huh? And got to clear the top somehow. This is still Pog. This is still very, very Pog. Did not mill a hammer. Um, Play this as a white source, I think. Oh, doggy. Uh, I think I want to cast it pre-combat because I could keep finding stuff off of the hammer. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> this is like one of the most absurd draws of all time. All right, we have stopped. We we can no longer continue. Uh, attack you for 11, I guess. Oh, we'll figure it out. Okay, this draw was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this makes Chip look like an all-star. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is how you win with Blue White Hammer. Find the 0.001% draw. This makes you want to just play four reality chips. Yeah, 11 damage, but also take one point, one point of poison. What if they just played more more chips? Doesn't seem that bad, right? Chip is absurd when you have these draws. Yeah, this is Pioneer. Curious Obsession. I'm just gonna block. I got the Emery to recast the Ornithopter. Easiest block of my life. What flavor do you think the reality chip is? Sour cream and onion? No. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Mm. Now what? I mean, I guess I'll just attack. I could bounce the Mausoleum Wanderer. Oh, no, because they have Rattle Chains, right? They can just recast it. What a win. They have a Rattle Chains in play. They just replay it. I mean, I would say we're in a pretty commanding position, but... Yeah, Odawara is double discounted. It's about to be triple discounted. Uh, Actually, no. I'm not going to play the Kemba this turn. 
The reason for if I Kemba and move the hammer, my Skrelv dies. So I don't want that to happen. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's just pick up Gigantha. Just chill. Uh, go. Oh, wait, I just realized. I have the line. I'm dumb. I can Odawara my own hammer and then replay it in combat. I, I totally missed that. Scrub doesn't die. If I move the hammer, it does, right? Doesn't it die if I move the hammer? Kemba's the lord. Oh, because the chip would still be on it. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I gotcha. All right, second cigar to Zaid. Here, how about a hammer? We just have it all at this point. Sheesh. To whom it may concern and the tragic we've been through. Is chip equipped or a freaking figured? Reconfigure says, attach to target creature you control or unattach from a creature. So how does that work? It's an equipment, but if it's reconfigured, is it considered equipped or reconfigured? I don't know how that works. I assume it's not equipped, right? Because it says attach. Well, equipment also says attach, right? So maybe it's the same thing. Yeah, okay. So it is, if it's attached with an equipment, it's still considered equipped. I mean, let's talk about that draw. That draw was crazy. We gotta play more fucking reality chips if that after that game. All right, portable hole coming in. Um, I think that's it. I think portable holes Gucci. Cut the sash. Mm, could like shave on drums, maybe. Shave an emery. Emery a little too slow. Flample. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I don't know though. With with dross like that, like just turn one, you know, creature, creature cigar to aid. Turn to uh, turn two chip. I kind of want to play more chips. So the sand is a Kemba or a cigar to aid away from greatness. Eh, I got a lot of mana. I'll keep it. Can I define tempo? Absolutely not. I have no idea what tempo is. Tombsberry, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. We're getting so close to that sub goal, chat. The beard is. Almost gone. The beard is almost gone. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Durum. How many left? <laughs> I know it's funny because yesterday I thought we were. I thought I couldn't read. I know you're surprised that I can't read, but we are at 6:34, so we're 16 away. 16 away, and the beard goes. Not live on stream, of course. I'll do it off stream, but scroll down. No, we're not going to do a shaving stream. I'll just shave it off stream. <laughs> I did consider it, but... Fiddling the mocks into hammers. We're trying. But I got a lot of, uh, you know, turn two attack with a one three. <laughs> it's got to be on stream where it doesn't count. No. I'm just, I'll am just i make a mess. I don't want to do that. I mean, how does their deck beat a one three? Tom, bro, how does your deck beat a one three flyer? Shit. Shadow Spear down. Rip. <laughs> yeah, like that, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we're on uh, Plan Z. We call this Plan Z. Or Plan J, actually. On Z for an RL stream setup? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that Audu will fly all the way from California to help me broadcast me shaving my beard live on Switch. I'm sure, I'm sure he would just be ecstatic to do that. Student San Diego. Yeah, I guess we could. I mean, I could stream on my phone. I could, I could do it. Okay, we could take my uh, Shadow Spear back. I think sounds good to me. I would like my Shadow Spear back, please. <clears throat> Recountering this. Am I allowed to keep the mustache? No, the mustache goes too. It looks so weird when I clean shave and keep the mustache. I, I look like a, I look like a serial killer. Old of you to assume this resolves. Yeah. I mean, maybe they wouldn't fight over this anyways, right? 
Attacking is bad if they have a Lord, because they can instant speed the Lord. Okay, well, we're going to do this anyways. All right, I need a hammer. I need a hammer. Mod check hammer. Any hammers in chat? I'm getting shackle. I mean, if they attack, it is, right? Oh, I should have blocked. Whoops. Oh, not hammer. Fucking cigar to aid. You know what I meant. Not hammer. I meant cigar to aid. <laughs> I don't want to draw hammer. <laughs> Get the Atraxels kicking around somewhere. I don't... So, because I've been playing... Because I've been streaming Standard on Arena, I don't actually have it saved to Stream Decker. I don't even know if I have it on on Magic Online. I think I've only played it on Arena. But I think I can export it from Arena. If you go to Mana Traders, Pete, you can find Sam's List. It's it's just Sam's List. I, think I, I, I don't think I changed anything. Oh, the only thing I changed was the sideboard. I'm playing Gix's Command over... What's the card that I cut for Gix's Command? Uh, Razor Lash. So yeah, if you go to Mana Traders, you can find Sam's List. I just cut the Razor Lashes for Gix's Commands. I think you need it against Esper. Deck's crazy, though. I've definitely locked that in. Deck's so good. Just nothing else feels as powerful as it. Why do I feel like there's a like a lag on the camera? Is, there, is, it, is it look... Or does it feel like it's desynced or anything? It's like a half a second behind. Kind of. Maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy. I mean, I am crazy, but... Am I dead? I think specifically when I use the NVIDIA broadcast, it's like... There's like a very slight delay, you know? Uh, It's close, but not quite, because I can't equip the Ornithopter. Uh, Can I buy a turn? No, because they just go animate, tap, this. I guess I can jump block. Okay, I can jump block. Elks are basically gats. Yeah, pretty much. They probably just counter this. Alright, that kills me. Game three. Uh, yeah, run it back. Alright, give me the chip in the opening hand. Come on, turn one cigar to Zade, turn two chip, let's go. That's all I need to win. Just the, you know, the top 0.0005% of my draws. Mm, it's going to be good if I had a land. <laughs> Do we keep? I think if I was in the draw, I would just Giga Chad keep this, but not in the play. Okay, lands. I can actually cast my spells this time. Um... Uh... Shadow Spirit of Gigantha gains six. No, they can animate the Mutavolve and then have two spirits to tap the Gigantha. Wouldn't have mattered. Uh, the deadline on the... It should be on the melee page. I think it's like... It's 15 minutes before the tournament starts. So 11.45, I think. True. What do I put back with the sand? I want to keep two lands, obviously. Let's put back two cards. I kind of want to keep Oswald, Moxamber, Machikos. Two lands. Like, I think the Kemba's the worst card in my hand. Although, I don't know, the Kemba's good with Oswald. This is tough. What if I put back the Machikos? Is that crazy? I don't know, man. What if I kept Machikos, Kemba, Portable Hole? I mean, the Machikos isn't even that good. Fourth host one. I think we're honestly at that point already. All right, I'll try it like this. This might be stupid, but... Yeah, I had a lot of fun recording. Shane basically messaged me, and he was like, Hey, do you just want to be on the show regularly? So, maybe, potentially... I don't know if we're going to do every week or every other week, but I love recording with those guys. They're so much fun. <clears throat> so what, you wanted to keep Oswald, Portable Hole, Kemba? Maybe. The problem I have with keeping Portable Hole is, like, if they have Rattle Chains on turn two, it's kind of ugly if they go Flash Spirit into Rattle Chains. Okay, that's pretty good. That was actually an absurd draw. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's cracked. Because now I can even sack the Amber to get a uh, hammer. That was sick. It's kind of awkward that I have to main phase it, though. I mean, I'm going to do it anyways, but... It's like, I main phase do this, they just go land Skyclave. It's kind of awkward. Okay. We race in. I lose to Shackle, guys. I lose to a lot of things, but... <laughs> The fuck else am I gonna do? I guess I could just play Machikos, but I don't know. We'll see what I draw. 
Hmm. That's bad. That's bad. Not good. Not good. Not good. They are not killing the Fiddlebender? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. <laughs> so I can hold their hold to get back aid, but I think I'd probably rather just hold the uh, Spectral Sailor. I think I'm also going to pick up Giganta this turn. So let's just sack Amber, I think. Sack for six. No, I, I need to I need to get Portable Hole this turn, I think. Yeah, I got to get Portable Hole this turn. Lars, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So then now, next turn, we can play Machikos and not use the Oswald. And just get in for damage. Oh, well. So they have a Smelly Queller. What do you want to do against Smelly Queller? Okay, let's start here. See if they want to quell this. If they do, I think I might just go sack Citadel for hole and hole the hole. Yeah, let's go sack here, get hole, kill their hole, get Sigarda's aid back. I think I like this line. What about in Souls as well? I mean, you could play in Soul. You already have Ornithopter and Darksteel Citadel. And Soul's like a nice backup plan if your hammer gets broken up. I could see that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why they didn't kill my Oswald. <laughs> That's kind of crazy to me. So, I mean, I guess we just go for it this turn, right? They could quell me. Mm, they have Rattle Chains plus Counterspell. I could just play Hammer in response to this, right? Yeah, because if they have Lofty, I can pay one. Yeah, this is this is good. Okay, they just scooped. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Let's go. <laughs> Easy. All right, three and two. Not bad. After starting 0-2, that's a pretty good way to finish the league. Uh, for those of you watching on the YouTubes, I don't know. This deck felt pretty good. I was really impressed by this card. Uh, I know we had just obviously talked about that in the last round, but I, I kind of want to see more copies of this. Oswald felt pretty good. It's like a way to tutor hammers and such. Um, I'd like to go a little bit deeper on the Oswalds in the main deck, like potentially play a portable hole. Not like super in love with the Emery's. Those could maybe go, could maybe trim on some of the Springleaf Amber stuff. Uh, I like the Machikos. I like the four Kembas. Yeah, I mean, overall this deck felt pretty sweet. Yeah, more, more reality chips, main deck portable hole to kind of go with the Oswald stuff. Deck was sweet. I like it a lot. That was fun.